In this video, I'll show you how to permanently add two subtitles to a video or movie using Subtitle Edit. Hi, my name is David and welcome to this video. So in previous tutorials, I've walked you through the new feature that supports banning in of subtitles to a video in Subtitle Edit. And this is an update in Subtitle Edit 3.6.2. And uh, what we're going to do in this particular tutorial is that we're going to join two subtitles and then we're going to burn the subtitles into our video using subtitle edit. So join me and uh, as I've mentioned, our video is here and we have the two subtitles that we're going to be working with. Actually, we have one that is a right to left language subtitle that is in Arabic and then we have an English subtitle. So those are just a couple of challenging things that you might encounter. And this is how you actually tackle this particular problem. So let's open up subtitle edit. Let's come up uh, to subtitle edit and I'll leave a link below if you don't have subtitle edit installed. Now for this particular part, we'll begin by joining our subtitles and create one subtitle. So I'll just come up to tools, join, and from here, you can add subtitles that you have. And please note that my subtitles are already timed. So uh, the time codes are correct. And therefore, uh, this particular option uh, is actually a set to run correctly. So uh, just click on add. And if you select both of these subtitles, uh, something happens and let me just show you for the purposes of people that keep asking this particular question I want to change the order that I want probably uh, one uh, language subtitle to be at the top and the other one at the bottom so if I click on open you'll see both subtitles here if you move this to the end this is the Arabic one and this is the English subtitle the Arabic subtitle once you open uh, the file inside here is going to go at the bottom of the video and the English one is, is going to be at the top. And if we can actually just click on join, we are going to have the subtitles joined to a video. But please note at this moment, what we have is the Arabic one from uh, line number one to line 45. Uh, I believe line 45, yes, uh, uh, at the start, but you can actually sort this particular order very easily. So if I just display this particular one, uh, just open a video. If we click on this, uh, you'll notice the Arabic is at the bottom. Let's assume you wanted the English version to be at the top. So this is what I should have done. So just come to file, new, so that we can just uh, undo this. Come to tools again, click on join subtitles. And then instead of adding uh, in multiple files, just click on add and then select the English file first, click on open and then click on add and then add the Arabic subtitle as well. Click on open. So once we do that, uh, you'll see that they're in this particular order. In this particular order, uh, I wish there was a way to actually just push them up uh, right here uh, so that if that is something that really interests somebody, uh, they can easily do it from this particular section. Click on join. And then once we click on join, you'll see that the English one uh, comes out here. And if we add our video, open video, if we click inside here, you'll now notice that the Arabic is at the top. Now, we have another challenge. Arabic is written and read from right to left. So with English, we just read from, with a recent update from left to right. But with Arabic, it should be the other way around. So the first thing we need to fix for this particular uh, video or this particular subtitles is come up to where the subtitles in Arabic begin, line number 46. Just click on that and then you can hold down shift and then scroll to the bottom with the arrow keys until you get to the end. Now, once you get to the end and maybe I should just show you why we need to do this. Uh, let me just come up to somewhere where we have a full stop. If you see this particular section, the full stop is to the right it should be to the left. So uh, we want to reverse this particular section. Just click on the first one and then scroll to the bottom. And then you can come up to edit, reverse right to left, start or end for selected lines. Just click on that. 
And once you do that, you'll notice that the full stop now comes to the start. So you've solved that particular issue, especially when you want to create uh, subtitles uh, with a right to left language, Arabic, Hebrew, etc. And with a left to right uh, language, that is English, French, etc. All those kinds of languages. So we've solved one issue. The second issue you might want to do or uh, something else you might want to spice up your subtitles before you burn them to your video is that you might want to change the color. So for example, let's say we want the Arabic subtitle to be in yellow. So with your subtitle selected, you can just right click inside here and click on color and then choose a color that you want your subtitles to be in. Let's say a yellow is a good one and then click OK. And our subtitles that are in Arabic will have a yellow color uh, that uh, will make it easy to read. One best practice that I always recommend is if you're doing uh, two line or two language subtitles, then try as much as possible to have single line subtitles for each language to uh, make sure that the readability of the subtitles is really good. So there we have it. Uh, we've sorted that particular issue. Something else you can do, you can change the font. Uh, let's say we want to actually use, let's say something like Adobe Arabic. You'll click on that and you'll see a preview here. Click OK and that changes. And then this one is still the same. So you can also change uh, the font uh, for the English uh, subtitle. It's up to line number 45. There we go. Right click. Font name. Let's just give it something like not or sans. Let's click on that. This is what it looks like. Click OK. Uh, they're a little bit better, a little bit smaller, so they don't intrude too much. Uh, but as I've mentioned, try and keep it to one line for each language subtitle uh, for ease of readability and also to avoid uh, having too much content uh, on here that might distract the viewer. So let's assume that we're done. We've joined or merged our subtitles into one. Now we want to permanently ban the subtitles to a video using subtitle edit and with the recent update, subtitle edit 3.6.2, it's possible. So all we need to do is just come up to video, generate video with banding subtitles, just click on that. And then you'll need to set the font size that you want to use. Uh, let's say we go with a font size of about 42, uh, because I think this video is in 1280 by 720 dimension. Uh, but as I uh, displayed in our recent tutorial, if you use the subtitle edit better, then you'll see other functionalities available where you can set your video to match the original. You can change uh, the dimensions of the video. You can change the font size. Uh, you can change the right to left orientation etc. But that I believe will come out or will be updated in subtitle edit 3.6.3. But for now, let's uh, work with what we have. And then once you're satisfied, click on generate. And then we'll say uh, merged subs done. So just click on save. And once you click on save, it's going to start permanently adding in these particular subtitles that we've merged together or joined together to create one subtitle that will be uh, used now to be burned into a video. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. And as I've mentioned in subtitle edit beta, it's possible to, uh, you can see how much time is remaining which is important, especially if you're burning in subtitles to a video or a movie that is a little bit longer uh, than uh, the standard type of videos. So let's just give it a couple of seconds and I'm sure it's going to be done within no time. Uh, but it's a really good process uh, now that we can do everything inside subtitle edit. So it's already done and we can just click on open containing folder, merged subtitles done. Let's just double click and play our video file in VLC. With the so what we'll notice, we have our Arabic up here and then we have uh, the English down here. Recent update on the YouTube interface. It's now easier than before. So uh, if you notice, the full stop is to the left for the Arabic and for this, uh, the English one is to the right. This is what we want. This is the desired effect. So we've actually achieved what we wanted. And uh, as you see, uh, as we move on uh, down the road, Everything is as it seems, the dashes, the dashes. So I believe we have banned in right to left language subtitles and left to right language subtitles in the same video, 
by merging the files or joining the files inside subtitle edit and i've already walked you through the order if you want to have the english one on top and the arabic at the bottom and also now burning in changing the different uh, font face uh, the color of the subtitle so that you get your desired effect i hope that this video is going to be of value to somebody that is interested in permanently burning in two or more subtitles to a video file using subtitle edit thanks for watching my name is david until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching